Hello and welcome to the in-depth series section of Drishti IAS. I am Aisha Singh and in today's episode we will be discussing about the Prime Minister of India Narendra Modi flags of RRTS that is the Regional Rapid Transit System. Regional Rapid Transit System. It means the rapid transit system, the fast moving transit system which is happening within a region and transit means movement from one place to another place. So, fast movement within a region. So, this is what has happened. First of all about the timeline, first we will be looking at the news then what is RRTS project, who built the Namo Bharat, what makes RRTS different from other modes of commutation like the metros or the railways, what are its features and in the end means practice question. Topic is of importance from general studies paper 3 that is infrastructure. From exam perspective, what is RRTS project and about its important features? The news talks about PM Modi flags of RRTS. What is this mass transport system? How it can benefit NCR that is the national capital region. So, what has happened recently is that the Prime Minister of India Narendra Modi inaugurated the first leg of the regional rapid transit system which is India's first mass rapid system dedicated to regional connectivity and as of now the first leg which has opened or will be functional for the first time would be the Delhi Merit route. So, it has been said that it will bring the travel time between Delhi to Merit within an hour and the maximum speed will be 100 plus or you can say 120 plus also because the designed speed is different and the operational speed is different. While if we talk about the metros which is running in Delhi, it they are running at around 100 kilometers per hour and the airport metro is considered to be the fastest among all and it runs around the speed of 120 kilometers per hour. So, this RRTS will lessen the travel time from one place to another within a region. Now, first of all, let us know what is the RRTS project that is the, what is the full form? You also need to know the full form that is regional rapid transit system. So, it is a semi high speed rail connectivity, semi high speed, it is, it will, it will, won't be super fast, it won't be, it will be more than the railways, the rail speed at which, which is operating as of now in our country. So, it is a semi high speed rail connectivity, integrated mass transit network. Integrated means it will be integrating, it will be connect, connecting with other mass modes of transport also. And its aim is to ensure balanced and sustainable urban development. Urban development, it, it means it will be connecting mega cities or developed cities to other developing cities through better connectivity and access across the NCR. So, as of now, the RRTS is restricted to the national capital region. That is, it will be working and connecting the places which is as of now around the NCR region. And it is taken up by the National Capital Region Planning Board. So, the board which has planned this project is the National Capital Region Planning Board while developing its functional plan on transport for NCR 2032. So, they are also developing a program for the national capital region and how the transport of the national capital region will be by the time of 2030s. So, RRTS is also a project which comes under the functional plan on transport for NCR 2032. Now, few of the features and how the RRTS would work and look. So, look at this train, this is how the RRTS would look like and these kind of train, trains are already working in other countries like the US, Europe, majority of the countries, these kind of trains are already working. So, they are faster than the metros and they will be more frequent than trains. So, it is considered that the design speed is 180 km per hour while the operational speed will be 160 km per hour and the average speed would be 100 km per hour. 
डिजाइंड स्पीड एंड ऑपरेशन स्पीड आर टू डिफरेंट थिंग डिजाइंड स्पीड मीन्स वेन द प्रोजेक्ट इज डिजाइन वॉट वॉज प्रिडिक्टेड दैट दिस मच स्पीड एट कैन बी एट विच द ट्रेन वुड रन वाइल ऑन द अदर हैंड द ऑपरेशनल स्पीड मीन्स दैट वाइल ऑन द प्रैक्टिकल नॉलेज वाइल वेन द ट्रायल्स वर गोइंग ऑन एट वॉट स्पीड द ट्रेन वर एबल टू मूव एंड वॉट कैन बी द एवरेज स्पीड बिकॉज नॉट ऑल द टाइम द ट्रेन वुड बी रनिंग एट इट्स हाइएस्ट और इट्स पीक स्पीड सो द एवरेज स्पीड इज थॉट टू बी हंड्रेड किलोमीटर्स पर आर एंड द टाइम टू ट्रेवल हंड्रेड किलोमीटर्स विल टेक अराउंड सिक्सटी मिनट्स इट मीन्स वन आर हंड्रेड किलोमीटर्स वुड बी ट्रेवल्ड विद इन एन आर एंड एज ऑफ नाउ देर आर कॉरिडोर्स विच आर प्रिपेर्ड एंड दे इन टोटल देर आर एट कॉरिडोर्स विच हैव बीन डिजाइन एंड इट विल बी इम्प्लीमेंटेड इन डिफरेंट डिफरेंट फेजेज सो एज ऑफ नाउ फेज वन इज वर्किंग एंड फेज वन इज बींग वर्क अपॉन so the corridors which comes under phase 1 are delhi gaziabad meerut corridor so this is the first one on which the rts would run then delhi gurugram snb alwar corridor delhi panipat corridor so these are the three corridors which which are under rts phase 1 then there are other corridors also like delhi faridabad ballabgarh palwal corridor gaziabad khurja delhi bahadurgarh rohtak gaziabad hapur Delhi Shahadra Badoth. So these are one, two, three, four, five. So these are the five corridors which will be worked upon in the coming phases. And if we will look majorly, as I've told you that as of now the RRTS is focused on the national capital region. So they will basically be covering the regions of first of all is the NCT of Delhi that is the national capital territory of Delhi. Then the Haryana sub region it will be covering Uttar Pradesh sub region. and the rajasthan sub region rajasthan sub region you can say that uh, alwar part would come then haryana sub region as we all know faridabad gurugram delhi is would be the center point and in delhi it will be the station would be built around the kalikhan region so this was about how the speed at which it will run the corridors and the regions it will be covering now who who built the namo bharat who is behind the rrts project so the national capital region transport cooperation is a joint venture of the central government and the government of delhi haryana rajasthan and uttar pradesh and these are the regions which will be covered under the rrts delhi being the main hub haryana can be the regions of faridabad gurgaon gurugram then rajasthan is alwar region uttar pradesh is the region of meerut then it it is constructed the regional rapid transit system also known as namo bharat so namo bharat is also known as rrts and rrts is also known as namo bharat so the entity which is behind the namo bharat is national capital region transport cooperation that is ncrtc then it comes under the ministry of housing and urban affairs so if we talk about on the broader term that it is associated with which ministry then it is ministry of housing and urban affairs then rrts project is spread across an estimated 55000 square kilometers so this is the area in which the whole of the rrts project is situated that is 55000 square kilometers and it is home to a population of over 46 crores with a combined gdp of an estimated 370 billion so gdp is high because it the areas are around the national capital delhi so the ncr region is is a high earning and a well developed areas then what makes rrts different from other mode, modes of transport like for example trains or metros then why rrts would be different from those first and foremost would be rrts network is faster as compared to metros and metros are in itself faster as compared to other trains so rrts among all becomes the fastest mode of transportation higher frequency and more comfortable so after the infrastructure is built 
of the RRTS and RRTS enabled infrastructure is built nicely, then RRTS would be running, the trains would be running at a very high frequency and these are considered to be, they will be saving the time and plus they will be more comfortable, they will be running at a high frequency. It means the commutation of people from one place to another place will be easier, will be faster and accessibility will also increase. Then focus on public transport. So, if the trains would be very accessible, price would be handy and they will be faster, then people's then people's attention will move towards using the RRTS instead of using their own vehicle and if the public transport would be good, then people will move towards the use of the public transport and this will also reduce the ever growing congestion on the roads or on the highways in the NCT region as we all know that the number of vehicles or especially the four wheelers are so high in the national capital region. So, this will also help in reducing the congestion on the roads. Then multimodal connectivity. In the coming times, if the infrastructure would be built on the desired level and on the desired grounds, then this will be a multimodal connectivity. The metros, the RRTS, the, the other public transport can also be integrated and connected to one another so that a well-developed, a well-integrated and a well-connected transportation facility can be provided to the people. Then employment generation. So, if any kind of new capital expenditure would take place and new kind of infrastructure will be developed, it is bound to create employment opportunity for other people. So, it will create thousands of jobs for people. Then increase the overall economic productivity of the region. So, RRTS is a specialized project and if the movement of people from one region to another region would become faster, accessible, frequent, then this will also help in increasing up or in putting up the economic activity of the surrounding region of the RRTS network because this will also give boost to the other surrounding regions economy as well. Like for example, the tourism sector will, will get a boost. So, if people would spend more on the public transport in, instead of using their own transport, it means that the number of people would increase on the public transport as the frequency would be good. So, this will even help in cleaning up the environment as the pollution levels are also very high when it comes to the NCR region. So, overall impact would be very good when we talk about in the economic terms. Then, few of the features as we have already discussed, but let me tell you once again that it will be significantly faster than the metro trains and the other rail railway trains which are as of now working and the operational speed is 160 kilometers per hour while the the designated speed is 180 kilometers per hour but the average would be around 100 120 and it would be a 17 kilometer stretch which is as of now classified as the priority section of the 82 kilometer long delhi ghaziabad merat rrts corridor so for the on the one first go, the delhi ghaziabad Meerut RRTS corridor is the one which would be constructed. It will have 16 stations and as of now, it has been said that they, it will be completed completely operational by the year 2025. So, after this, in the end, we have a means practice question and the question is of 15 marks. So, the question talks about what are the main challenges in the infrastructure sector in India and what measures can be taken to overcome them. So, what are the challenges according to you when we talk about the infrastructure in our country and what are the measures that can be taken to make them better. So, try to do your answer writing practice. Start with a intro, then write a body, write a conclusion. First of all, you need to understand what does infrastructure means. Infrastructure is a very broad term. Within infrastructure also, there are many things which are coming. It can be roadways, railways, ports, airways. So, it has the answer should have all the dimensions and with them, you also need to write the examples. So, try to do your answer writing practice and 
that's all for today thank you so much for watching till we meet next time keep reading and keep writing